this is part of kimchi on Isla something, Isla Chiloy. And here's Natalie and our hostel's right behind her, but you can't see it. So this is Isla Uka. It's on Chiloy Island itself, but it's just a big pedestrian walkway to get here. And it's got one of the famous churches of Chiloy. It's beautiful. And here's Natalie. I also saw this guy cracking fresh mussels on rocks and eating them, so I want to do it too. Hi! We got on the ferry, then got off. Found the oyster place, and we've had so much uh, fresh seafood. I'm not going to complain about it, but we did eat a raw mussel, which I think set the tone for a really weird <laughs> experience. But now we have fresh oysters that they're shucking behind me. Um, always some sea accessory. Anyway, I'm going to have this one. Mm. It's so good. Okay. So we're driving around Isla Lemoy. We actually got pretty lost because we got a standard map, not GPS. And we discovered this little gazebo, which we thought was really cool. So I'm gonna show you around. This place is amazing. It's like the end of the world. And this beautiful little gazebo that somebody's built on some land in the middle of nowhere. And it's a little dodgy, like there's holes in the floor and everything, but We'll survive. Coming upstairs and Natalie's already hanging out. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And check out this place. Like the views, 360 degrees of just farmland, sheep, yeah, the island, and beaches, and just this ocean is amazing. I'm not sure if that's the mainland of, well, the mainland, which is actually another island called Chiloy, uh, which is an island off the coast of Chile. So we're on an island, off an island, and I don't know really where we are. Natalie has something to say. Well, you can see the whole length of the island um, because you can see the water over there and you can see the water here. And also, um, the island is very famous for all the super old churches. So there's churches on uh, multiple churches on every And I hadn't even noticed that, but when I say we got lost, we've been driving for about 15-20 minutes and that's the church that we were at before we started driving 15-20 to 20 minutes ago. So 
Yeah, we were lost, and we're back at our starting point after doing a big U-turn. And hopefully, we can find out where to go now. Ciao. Hey guys, we came on a ferry over to Isla Moy, and as you can see, there's an amazing view, um, water on both sides of this like um, this boat, this elevator that we're on, and then also behind, there's a field of So our Airbnb host told us to come and check out this random little mural place and we just turned off and it's this random little house in the middle of nowhere and you walk in and it is crazy wall to wall just wow. So this shrine started off as a um, small, I'll get back to you on that. So I saved you from the walk up, but we found another one of those random cabana lookout things. And I thought I'd show you the view of this one, because it's on a thin strip on the island that connects like two larger portions. And it is really cool. And there's a guy feeding his cow on the side of the road. So check this out. Hey you guys, we just got to um, kind of out of the way place on the Chuli Islands. It's called Cacao. And this is our room, which is really nice. This is like really far out of the way, but it's on a lake. And then there's a national park around here that has um, where this lake meets the Pacific Ocean. And so the view from our room is awesome. They have a hot tub you can rent um, for extra because they would fire it or would heat it. Um, but this is beautiful, like very secluded. Here's the other side. There's a lot of people and fishing boats going by. But on the other side, um, I don't know if you can see in here, but... There are some buildings over there. There's a church, and um, there's little baby horses as well as sheep. I got cut off, but again, here's the view on the other side. Here's the bed. It's really minimal because of the views and everything. So I think we're going to do like a little bit of the National Park Circuit and come back and relax. Hey, so we're in Kukau on Isla Ch Chiloe. Yeah, on Isla Chiloe. And we're trying to be healthy. We're behaving and exercise. yeah, went on a hike out into the national park and everything. And at the end of the longest trail in the national park, there's actually this cute little house where they're making empanadas and postres and serving beer, water, whatever you need. So. We failed on the healthy, but we're hiking. But I'm going to tell you this. We've been hiking for about 15 minutes. So if you're saying into the trail, I mean, we're talking about 15 minutes in. That's how far I made it. I'm assuming anything is better than nothing. 
plus my phone is at 10% low battery mode. But I do get cell phone service here. And they said they actually had Wi-Fi in here. I doubt it. But, um, hell, I swear to God in this national park, there is food and drinks like every 10 meters. So you're distracted, quite distracted. Oh, there I go. Beer. Chilean beer. Cerveza. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Back to James. <laughs> so, it hasn't been 15 minutes. We've been hiking for almost an hour now. She, I think she's talking about the last little bit of the trail. But since we left our hotel, it's been about an hour. So, just so you know, not that lazy. She's just wrong, as per usual. So we just trekked about 40 minutes out of Kukao on Isla Chiloy and to come to a bridge called Muele de las Almas, I think. And it translates roughly to the Bridge of Souls. This is just the view we've walked up to. I'm gonna hike up there and show you more, but I just thought it was really cool. And when we get to the bridge, I'll let you know as well. Ciao. So this is the Bridge of Souls. A little out of breath. So I told you I'd bring you up to the higher peak and I couldn't get all the way to the top, it's blocked off. But this is as good as it gets for scenery around this uh, part of town. So there's Natalie, if you can see her hiking back. Ah, I'm gonna catch up to her. But this is just the amazing view over here. And it's just, yeah, this is a beautiful place. And the view from here of the Bridge of Souls is really cool too. Highlands, beaches, cliffs. I just love this view. So back over here and see you later.